Well, that's not what you want to see in the morning. I guess we're heading to Aston Martin to find out how much it's going to cost for a new tyre. Right, so here we are. It's Monday morning and we are on our way to Aston Martin to get this tyre sorted. They were really kind and they said I can just come in first thing and drop the car off and they'll just do it there for me, which is great because I really need the car today. Uh, I need to get to the office. I've got some photos I need to take. So yeah, the timing couldn't have been worse, but luckily they're going to sort it and to be honest, I wouldn't want to go anywhere else. I mean, you can, I could have someone come out and repair the tire. I could have someone come out in a van and fit a brand new one. But for me, with this car, it's still new to me and quite special. I, I just only really trust Aston Martin right now because in the past I've had tires replaced on cars and alloy wheels damaged. And I know these guys will take good care of it. And of course, if anything goes wrong, they'll fix it. Uh, we're gonna have to drive carefully because as you probably saw in the video, it's quite a bad one. It's, I'm not gonna call it a nail, it's gotta be a screw. There's actually a washer as well, which is bizarre. <laughs> so we're just gonna take it easy. It's also a little bit wet. Uh, it was raining all last night. So we'll take it easy, we'll get to Aston Martin and we'll find out how much this is gonna cost to replace the tire and spoiler alert it was very expensive turns out aston martin do charge a lot more than mercedes stay tuned to the end of this video where i'm going to share with you the whole invoice of exactly how much we paid <laughs> if i were to pick one tire for this to happen to though i would choose this one because if you look closely there's actually a bit of cracking that started to form i think this is probably one of the original tires because the fronts last longer strange though because the tire on the right might have been replaced and you should really if you're going to change a tire you should always really do it in twos because you want the same level of tread across for equal grip obviously so i said to aston martin i said please can you check to see if both tires need replacing because obviously if i'm going to put a brand new tire on one side and the other side is not near new then i'm going to have to do two tires so this could be very expensive but it's got to be done and the tires are the most important part about the car if you know people are probably going to say you could get that plugged or repaired but this is a 500 horsepower rear wheel drive supercar tires are everything and i just wouldn't want to risk it and you know i knew this car was going to be expensive to run and maintain so i've made sure to keep some money reserved but yeah i thought i'd just film this because it's kind of completely unplanned and i thought this is the true ownership of this car and this is the sort of stuff you're going to go through so yep we're on our way to aston martin let's see what happens now i don't know if it's just me and all in my head but i swear i can feel that screw in the tire i mean what prompted me to look at the tire and check was I, something didn't feel right at the front so the fact that i was worried about it before i even saw it makes me think that i can feel it it just it's so big and it's got a big washer and you know this car the tires are quite stiff anyway and the suspension's quite stiff so you you can kind of feel everything and I was driving home the other day and something just didn't feel right so the first thing I did when I got home was just to check the tyres to make sure they were all okay and I saw it immediately. What is that? Is that someone grinding smoke? Is it going to go out of my car? This is just like the most unlucky thing ever. Oh dear. Let's find out. Oh, maybe it's just a clean... I don't know. Is my car going to get drenched with crap? Well, hopefully we won't be getting a respray as well as the, as two new tyres now. I guess we'll find out. This is the only way to get there, so... Oh, this is the real owner, ownership experience, guys. We're not holding back. <laughs> what is that? Oh, dear. Whatever it is, we've got to drive through it and probably quite quickly because we've got on the, going to be on the wrong side of the road. Oh dear. Oh, has he stopped? Oh, if he stopped. Oh, we're going so slow now, the parking sensors are coming on. Oh, good. We don't have to drive through it, whatever it was. We'll never know, but at least there's some luck on our side. 
Right, that was a potential problem averted there with all that random smoke. I'm sure it was probably nothing. It was probably just a bit of smoke, but I don't know about you. I don't want to drive through anything like that. The cool thing about Aston Martin Works in Newport Pagnell is it, it, well, it used to be the original Aston Martin factory. So when you drive into Newport Pagnell, there's even a little logo of an Aston Martin on the road sign. I'll see if we can see it. All right, let's see if we can see it. It should be on our left. Keep an eye out on the left for the Aston Martin sign. Oh, here it is. I'll lean down to make sure you can see it. There it is, welcome to Newport Pagnell. It's a bit of a strange place for a very fancy Aston Martin dealership in Newport Pagnell town. I mean, as you can see, there's like flats and houses right opposite to it. But it's gonna be here on our left. Here it is. Oh, I love this place. They have so many incredible cars. And there's always somewhere to park, which is good. Oh, look at that orange one. And there we go, we've made it to Aston Martin. So when we leave here, we're either gonna have two new tires or one new tire, and it's gonna be expensive. I thought I'd bring my laptop to get some work done while I'm waiting for the car. Uh, not the worst place to be working. I'm actually quite enjoying being here. You can see at the back, they have a nice view of the workshop. And to the left of me is a lovely red Vantage here in the showroom. They also keep making me these incredible lattes. So the day seems to be brightening up, but hey, let's fast forward to the future and we'll see how much it costs to get all this fixed. Right, I am happy to say we've got the car back. It's all sorted. So now we can listen to this glorious V8 once again. just never gets old. It's absolutely nuts. Anyway, let's find a good spot and we'll go through the bill and I'll tell you the crazy price Aston Martin charged for this tire change. Right, so inside the car, I have the full invoice from Aston Martin. Let's jump back in the car and I'll show you exactly how much it costs. Okay, that was a bit more expensive than I expected. Just for one tire, it came to a total of 442 pounds. So I've got the itemized receipt here and they charged 318 pounds for the tire and then 100 pounds for labor. And what pushed it up to 442 pounds was, then of course, that didn't include VAT. So VAT tax was then 73 pounds for a total of 442. So yeah, turns out it's quite expensive to get your tire done at Aston Martin. Sorry guys, future Adam here. I've just realized these numbers don't quite add up. The invoice was a little confusing. Turns out they charged 50 pounds for labor, but because they charged so much for the tire, the cost is still the same at a whopping 442. The tire they replaced was a Pirelli P0 20 inch. And I've had a look online and the cheapest I can find this tire online is 288 pounds. But then of course we have to get the tire fitted as well. And I think a local independent is probably gonna charge around 50 to 60 pounds to fit a tire. So it looks like Aston Martin are probably charging just over a hundred pounds more than what I would be able to get this if I bought the tire online and went to a local independent. Now, that's quite a lot of money. So if you had all four tires replaced, that could be a huge extra cost. Like I did say though earlier in this video, this car is still really new to me and really precious. And I don't really want someone on my driveway jacking the car up or taking it to a random place. I, I wanted to go to Aston Martin because I trust them. In the past, I've had alloy wheels damaged by tire fitters and I knew if Aston Martin, if there was any problems, they would fix it. And also as well, I was curious. I wanted to see how much it would cost and thought this could be quite a fun video. You may remember that earlier in the video, I said we might need to replace both tires. And 
Luckily, Aston Martin said, don't worry about it. You can keep the other tire because the tread is still really high on that one. And now I know the cost of one tire with them. I'm so glad because that would have been really expensive. Right guys, so that was the first surprise bill with the Aston Martin. Now, I know it sucks to have a big screw in your tire. I mean, on any car, not just this car, but if we're trying to be positive here, if I were to pick one tire on this car to replace next, it would have been that one because it actually had a bit of cracking in it. So I was already thinking about replacing it. So I know this is a bit more of a negative video and I always try to be positive. So let's end it on a high. It was expensive. We learned probably not to go to Aston Martin to get the tire replaced because they're quite expensive. But hey, it's fixed. The car's back on the road. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you next time.